Today is the day. Today is the day that I get a fish for the first time in over a year. So let's get started. You may be wondering what type of fish I'm gonna be getting, and I'm gonna be getting a betta fish. Super easy, super simple. I'm also probably gonna be getting some Amano shrimp, but the betta fish is for that tank right there. So let's find ourselves a betta fish. Here is the betta fish that I ended up picking out. It's an elephant ear male. He looks pretty cool. He's kind of like a rainbowish blue and red color. So I'm gonna start acclimating him. I also got some shrimp. Here are the Amano shrimp. I got three and interesting enough, you can see all these kind of little specks in there. I think one of the Amano shrimp like gave birth or a couple of them gave birth in this bag. And you can see all the tiny little shrimp moving around, but I don't think the baby shrimp will survive because I think they need salt water, but I'll start acclimating them. All right, he's all acclimated and time to add him to the tank. Now for the shrimp. Come on. What are you doing, shrimp? There we go. Many months later. Well, it's been a good few months or so since I added the betta fish to the tank, so let's go ahead and take a look. Alrighty, here is the tank and here is our betta fish. I decided to name him Pudge. If you guys don't remember from last video, he's an elephant ear male. Not really sure what that means. I'm not super big into betta fish, so I don't really know. But in the last few months, he has grown quite a bit and he has colored up quite nicely as you can see right here. He's got some nice blues and reds in him. But as you can also notice, this tank is pretty dirty. There's just some algae on the side that I haven't really dealt with in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this tank up real fast and take you guys along for the process. And then and hopefully we can get a better look at our betta fish pudge here. Here's the tank after the water change. It looks a lot better than it did. You can actually see inside the tank, I took care of all the algae up front on this glass. I left most of the algae on the back of the glass because I mean, it's the back and I don't think I've ever cleaned the algae back there. So it's been accumulating for around a couple months, but here's a better look at Pudge now that the glass is clean. See if I can get the light on him. There we go. His left eye is a little bit cloudy. Not really sure if that's anything to be concerned about. I was wondering if it was like a fungus or something, some type of infection in his eye or some, something like that, but I think it's just the coloring because it's just blue, you can see. There's his right eye, you can see it's a lot clearer than his left eye. I'm not too concerned about it, but there haven't been many changes to the tank since the last video. The main thing is I just added a 50 watt Aquion heater back there. As for the other inhabitants in this tank, there's a few cherry shrimp in here. I think there's around half a dozen. And there are three Amano shrimp. You can see one right behind the cherry shrimp. Occasionally Pudge will go up and try and eat them, but the shrimp are pretty smart. And there's a lot of little nooks and crannies for all the shrimp to hide in in here. And I have seen the cherry shrimp breed a few times. I've seen to baby shrimp in here but pretty sure pudge goes and eats them all population control but yeah that's pretty much it for this tank i'll go ahead and feed pudge right now right now i'm just feeding some beta pellets super simple occasionally i'll feed them some blood worms and i have some frozen mysis shrimp that i'll give them sometimes do a little pinch full for the shrimp and pudge let's see if i'll actually eat going in for the kill do it eat it Boom. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this tank. Um, it's super simple. It's like two and a half gallons. If you guys missed the setup video, I'll leave a link for that in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it on this tank. Well guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully.